Hi, I'm Felicity Keith, and right here, right now, I'm going to teach you a naughty erotic secret about men. Even the nicest, shyest, most innocent woman can use to get a man more turned on and desperate for you than he's ever been in his entire life. Once you learn this naughty erotic secret like thousands of ecstatic women have, you'll see a sudden fire of lust in his eyes, even if he barely looks at you now. He'll shiver with need for you and only you, distracted and sweaty, unable to think of anyone or anything but your lips, your body, your skin. And as you turn up the heat, you'll feel the magic happen, as he worships you as his own personal erotic goddess and can't even look at or think about other girls. So you become the star of his every private fantasy. And so finally, even though this might sound unbelievable, it becomes too much and he can't resist anymore. He grabs you in his strong arms, he rips the buttons off your blouse with his teeth, loses all control, ravishes you like you're in a romance novel, and whispers how amazing you are as you make intense, astonishing, joyful love. Eyes and heart open, connected, feeling every cell in your body tingle, and smiling because you know every dirty, glorious thought in his mind, for the first time ever, is focused entirely on you. I know this sounds fantastic and hot and a little unbelievable right now, but I promise, woman to woman, even if you're shy, or if you're a good girl who feels the silent need to be just a little naughty, you're going to learn right now why the mind is the only erogenous zone on a man that matters, and how to make your man, or any man, desperate to be yours and only yours as long as you want him. Who the heck am I to make such an amazing promise? Like I said, my name is Felicity Keith, and no, I'm not a stripper or a sexpert or a nymphomaniac or anything like that. If you saw me at the supermarket, you'd just see a regular, 40-ish, slightly overweight single mom. But that's not what my boyfriend Kevin sees at all. When he looks at me, he sees his lover he could never live without. Even though just 18 months ago, I thought we were doomed. That I was going to be heartbroken and alone again. Warning. What I'm about to tell you is a very personal story that might trigger some very intense emotions in you. And I'm only sharing it with you because I think you'll feel a pang of terrible recognition at what happened to me. And I just think the lesson of what happened could transform your life and your relationships with men forever. But only if you listen closely right now, before it's too late. Talk dirty to me, he said on our one year anniversary. We were in bed, making love. I felt a rush of panic in my chest. Fear. Tell me how you feel, he grunted again, and I felt my mouth go dry, my heart racing as I panicked and my mind went totally blank. What did he want me to say? What did he want me to do? Finally, awkwardly, I opened my mouth and whispered, your penis feels really good. Silence, like a tumbleweed rolling across a street in the Old West. He didn't ask again. He closed his eyes like he was concentrating, and I wondered what he was thinking of. I wondered where he went. But the worst part happened later that night. It was a little after two in the morning when I woke up and found the bed empty. I pulled on my robe and padded out to the living room, thinking he'd gone to get a drink of water or something. And then I heard a sound that sent a chill through my whole body. A female voice, moaning. My palms sweaty, I crept around the corner and saw him, the man I loved, Kevin, sitting at the computer naked, touching himself. We'd just made love a few hours before, but here he was masturbating and watching porn. I've always wondered why guys do that. Why would you need to watch porn when you've got a real woman right there? On the screen was a girl, not even a very pretty girl, not much prettier than me touching herself and moaning and saying the dirtiest, naughtiest things. Things a good girl like me would never think of. Things I thought I could never make myself say. Even though I felt devastated and betrayed, I just couldn't look away. And then I looked at Kevin's face and saw a smile like I'd never seen before. In a year together, I'd never seen him look so happy and masculine and satisfied. I know I don't have to tell you how worthless and ugly I felt. How I felt like I could never measure up to his fantasies I never even really knew he had. And I thought of the times we tried to experiment and I'd wanted him to try new things and he'd just grumble like a sad puppy. I acted like I was asleep when he came back to bed. Like I'd been asleep the whole time, burying my face in the pillow so he wouldn't see the tears. 
He spooned me, and I shuddered, and I had to bite my tongue so I didn't tighten up, and I lay there for hours thinking and making a decision. I thought of how I looked in the mirror. I'd never be a supermodel. I'd never be 22 again, thank God. I'd never be a porn star and never wanted to be. And lying there, feeling his breath on my neck, I knew I could do one of three things. I could ignore that this ever happened, bury my head in the sand and pretend we were happy. I could confront him. I could get mad at him for looking at other girls and thinking about other girls. I could be furious and yell at him and forbid him from ever looking at porn again and end up pushing him farther away. Or I could make the choice I did. I could learn the secret fantasies of my guy, of all guys. I could learn the sexual psychology of men, why men want what they want instead of sticking my head in the sand like most women. And I could learn to play his secret desires like a violin and inspire him to give me everything I've ever fantasized about. I fired up my laptop the next day excited at what I was going to learn. But quickly I got frustrated and then disgusted. All over the internet, all I found were books and articles and YouTube videos by sleazy pickup artist type guys and 22-year-old bimbos telling me that I had to act like a slut or a nymphomaniac teenager to make a man happy. And I knew that couldn't be the truth. I knew that getting what I wanted didn't have to mean giving up who I was. So I went on a mission to find out the truth. The next few months were a thrill and a rush of revelations. I made myself watch porn, and instead of being disgusted and judgmental, I acted like a scientist. I asked myself why men seem to need this stuff so much. I studied what the most popular porn stars in the videos whispered in their husky voices and discovered the secret rocket fuel for the male ego. Through a forum, I tracked down a retired phone sex expert who played fantasy girl for thousands of men. She taught me the power of the feminine voice, the exact tone that bores into a man's mind, and what men are really seeking emotionally when they think they're seeking sex. I got my best guy friends fall over drunk until they finally broke the bro code and told me what they really wanted and what they really dreamed of. I booked time with a sex therapist all by myself and scribbled furious notes as she explained why men can become erotically impotent with women they love and how to keep it from ever happening to you. I read books and websites and blogs and interviewed college professors about evolutionary psychology and why men are wired the way they are. I read smut written for men and studied exactly why some stories got five-star ratings from guys, while others I thought were really good were ignored. And then, with all this jumbling around in my brain, I started writing. I sat down at my laptop and boiled everything I'd learned and discovered into 33 powerful tricks and techniques that would wake up the animal in my man and fix his hunger right on me where it belongs. Thumbing through the finished file, I felt a heat through my whole body. My cheeks flushed with pride. I'd done it. I'd done what no woman had ever done before. I'd created an owner's manual for a man's most important erogenous zone. His mind. His imagination. A few weeks later, Kevin and I were rolling around again, smiling, having fun. He didn't even ask me to talk dirty this time. I guess he didn't want to be disappointed again. He was on top of me, inside me, our faces just inches from each other. He closed his eyes, and I knew he was miles and miles away, getting what he craved from his fantasies because he thought I couldn't give it to him. I took a deep breath and felt terrified, like I was jumping off a bridge, but I said it. The lust mirror phrase I discovered, a little trick that forces a man out of his head and right back into the moment by reflecting his secret desires back at him. His eyes flew open like he was just seeing me for the first time. He looked deeply into my eyes, and I knew he was right there with me, seeing me, feeling me, listening to my voice, and I saw that smile again. But this time he wasn't looking at porn. He was only looking at me. Over the next hour, I took control of his fantasies, whispered naughty words in his ear, stroked his ego, teased him, made him feel powerful and desired and strong and masculine. And in return, he opened up and gave me everything. He made dirty, amazing, wonderful love to me, touched me, whispered to me, asked me about my fantasies and fulfilled them, gave me intense pleasure again and again that lit every cell of my body on fire and left me flushed and exhausted and happy in a way I never thought I would feel. I bet you could feel right now how wonderful that was. We both couldn't stop giggling and laughing when we were done. We basked in the glow feeling connected and silly and happy and horny and in love. He looked me in the eye and asked, where the hell did that come from? 
I just smiled. And he curled up next to me and hugged me tight, and we slept and dreamed so soundly like that, twisted in the blankets until the alarm went off the next day. I told my best friend Michelle all about it at lunch. She was scandalized and excited. As we were paying the bill, she super casually said, So, Felicity, did you learn anything I can use with Rob? She said it with a laugh, twisting her wedding ring on her finger like an anxious tick. I wasn't sure at first. I'd worked so hard for so long. Was this really something I wanted to share? She's my best friend. How could I say no? At midnight, I got a text from her in all caps with a huge smiley emoticon saying, Oh my God, your Pavlov's erection thing is genius and really works. He didn't know what hit him. Thank you. I guess Michelle couldn't keep a secret. Or maybe people could just see the glow. My sister Laura called me up and asked if I had a trick for her to try, you know, just for fun. Laura was always single and was always complaining that guys pulled away after a couple dates. She said she used the cuddle hormone technique I created with a guy while sitting at dinner. She got to work the next day to find a huge bouquet of flowers and a note begging to take her out again. And then things got a little crazy. I achieved this weird cult status locally. Friends, family, 22-year-old girls to 70-year-old recent divorcees, to my mom, who I refused to talk about any of this stuff, started to use my techniques and raved about how simple and easy and magical it was to make a man a monogamy addict this simple way, to take away all his distractions like you're suddenly the only woman on the planet for him. Somewhere along the way, what I was teaching all these women got the name The Language of Desire, and it kind of stuck, because that's what it is, the secret erotic language of the masculine mind, which brings us to now and brings us to you learning the language of desire too. Now, I'm about to unlock this door for you, but first there's something I desperately need you to understand about love and passion and lust and the minds of men. Because this isn't just a power, it's a responsibility. Once you learn how to tease and gloriously torment a man the secret way, you'll be able to give him a more intense, pleasurable, connected, and erotic sexual experience sitting at a table at a restaurant acting completely innocent as far as everyone around you is concerned than his ex-girlfriend could in a whole sweaty naked weekend. And this next thing is important. Listen to me closely. You'll be able to do all of this without ever acting or feeling like a slut. I know this sounds almost supernatural and I can't wait for you to experience what it feels like to be so totally wanted, but this isn't magic. It's science. It's chemistry. Because the dirty, wonderful words and phrases you're going to learn have been psychologically designed to hit the masculine mind like a drug. Listen, imagine if we took a brain scan of the man you want at the moment you look him in the eye, smile, and whisper these very special words. If you compared it to a brain scan of a heroin addict at the moment he injected into his vein, would you be able to tell the difference? Not really. In both cases, you'd see an explosion of dopamine flooding his brain. If you don't know what dopamine is, it's the pleasure chemical. The same chemical released when you share a passionate kiss with someone you love, or cheat on your diet, or gorge on chocolate, or win the lottery. And that hit of dopamine is what motivates every man, woman, and animal on this planet. And without even knowing why, he's going to come to you again and again to get his fix. So, are you ready to feel what it's like to be the only one for him? Are you ready for him to put down the cell phone, stop talking about work, and really be present with you? Are you ready to be his sexual obsession? If you're still watching this, it means the answer is yes, yes, yes. The language of desire is the result of over a year of nonstop intensive research, testing, and work. Hard work I did, so you don't have to. See, when I decided to share these techniques with women around the world, I set myself a goal as big and lofty as climbing Everest. And to reach that goal, this new program needed to accomplish three things. Number one, it had to be easy, as close to done for you as possible so you don't have to worry about coming up with the words or memorizing a bunch of stuff. It needed to work even if you're shy. Number two, it had to be inspirational, which is why this language teaches you how to inspire a man to give you what you want and need so much. Number three, it needed to be transformational. For me to feel satisfied, this system had to be more than just dirty words on a page. Just by allowing yourself to experience this program, you'll transform your whole attitude towards men and sex and open yourself to a whole new world of intimacy, connection, and pleasure. And after months and months of work, testing this stuff in my own life, giving it to women from 18 to 80, and hearing their amazing, passionate, raving reviews, here we are at the top of Everest. Here's just a tiny sample of the secrets you're going to get and the amazing results you're going to almost automatically get when you get the Language of Desire program today. 
the Pavlov's erection technique. Use this and you'll condition a man to become unreasonably turned on and vibrating with desire for you every time you whisper a seemingly innocent phrase of your choice in his ear. Sick of your guy looking at porn and ignoring you? You'll get the porn destroyer phrase you can use to make him turn off the computer, chase you into the bedroom, and seduce you as the gorgeous woman you are right in front of him. Next, you'll discover the secrets of the cuddle hormone and how to trigger a massive rush of this magic love potion in his mind so he shakes with desire, sees you as his one and only love, and would do anything to keep you safe. Always wonder what really turns him on? The erotic telepathy technique allows you to crawl into his mind, past all his defenses, and discover his deepest, most passionate fantasies, fantasies he's not even consciously aware he has. Warning. Using this technique is like having a true core of a man projected onto a 30-foot movie screen for you to see. Only use this if you want to know a man on a truly deep level. Quick quiz. What's the one word that a man desperately wants to hear his woman say, but that almost no woman does? The sexual singularity is a powerful word that hammers a man's attention to you and makes him feel more desired and appreciated than any woman has ever made him feel before. Next, you'll get the tease intensifier, how to slowly raise the heat with a man so he clutches the table with unbridled lust, barely able to contain the smile on his face. Important, you'll also learn the trick of how to plant a desire seed in a man's mind. This controversial technique allows you to tell a man exactly what you want in bed so you get your fantasies met, without any fear of being embarrassed. In fact, you'll discover that using this technique creates an intimate bond between you and a man where his desires and yours become one and the same. You'll get so excited when you use this one. I call it the lust mirror technique. This method is so easy to do, but so powerful. It allows you to actually create a feedback loop of desire between you and your man, where the more turned on you are, the more turned on he gets, until you're both aching with mutual desperation. The heat builds like a volcano until he's finally almost forced to take you in his arms. Have you ever been with a guy who's just lost interest in sex? Or at least in sex with you? You won't believe what happens when I give you verbal Viagra. This simple method acts as a sudden shot of adrenaline to his libido, making his whole body sing with sudden lust for you like he had when you first met. He won't know what came over him, but will know you're the only one that can make him feel right ever again. This sounds crazy, but next you'll learn the boiled frog. If you're kind of shy and are afraid of talking dirty with a new guy, you'll love this. I'll show you exactly how to slowly turn up the heat with a guy so he finds every cell in his body humming with erotic electricity and desire for you and only you. This works even if he's kind of boring in bed and will have him looking at you as his ultimate fantasy girl without ever thinking you're a slut. This next one isn't for the faint of heart. It's called the oral intensifier phrase to use when giving your guy head that makes him feel worshipped, adored, taken care of, and willing to slay dragons to keep you in his life. Next, I'll introduce you to the erotic action movie technique. I'll show you how to use texts, Skype, or the phone to create a vivid emotional movie in his head where he's the hero, you're the woman he'd do anything for. Moment by moment, scene by scene, you'll use feminine vulnerability to inspire him, motivate him, and make him feel like the man he's always wanted to be. Side effect. Use this method on a guy and don't be surprised if he starts getting up earlier, smiling more, doing more for you around the house, taking you on amazing dates, or even treating you like a queen. What about those times you just can't have sex? I know I've had times when I thought I couldn't please a man because my body was betraying me or we just didn't have time, or when I could feel his frustration because he was so horny and I just wasn't in the mood. That's why I came up with the concept of the no-touch lay. Do this and you'll both feel like you had deep, connected, rafter-shaking sex without taking off a single item of clothing and without even touching. Remember when you were a teenager and just kissing made you feel like you were on fire? I know you want to feel that again. Using my invisible chastity belt method, you'll turn up the erotic intensity by taking sex off the table. He might gently complain at first, but then he'll nibble at your neck, kiss your lips like ice cream, hold you against him, claw at the wall, and tell you exactly how much you turn him on. Next, we'll go to new levels of dirty wonder, with the Madonna moan. This has nothing to do with a pop singer and everything to do with you getting truly in touch with the most erotic you. Using a simple exercise, you'll learn to totally relax sexually, to open yourself to new levels of pleasure. The first time you hear this new moan come out of your mouth, you'll be shocked. The first time he hears it, he may growl. He may burst into tears. He may whisper an awestruck thank you in your ear for making him know what it's truly like to be a man. And that's not even half of what I'm giving you in this sacred and powerful program. 
I don't even have time to tell you about the monogamous male maximizer, which makes him beg to be yours and only yours forever. One simple erotic phrase that makes a guy actually want to take out the trash. The romance rotator, which activates the deep and sometimes hidden romantic impulse deep in his mind. Or the friend to fantasy method. Warning. Only use this if you're sick of being friends with a guy and want him to seduce you. Once you say this, there's no going back. And so much more. Okay. Can you feel that? Your heart beating. The dryness in your mouth. That incredible desire to know this. To be able to do this. To have this power. To have that special man need you and only you like this. How much is it worth to have this at your fingertips? How much is it worth to be his ultimate fantasy? How much is it worth to be the mistress of his imagination? How much is it worth to know you can fix almost any problem that comes into your relationship just by saying a few magic words? I don't want to bring you down here, but I see so many women every day in misery because they don't understand men. They drag their boyfriends or husbands to couples counseling, which costs thousands of dollars, does absolutely nothing to give you the attention and connection and pleasure you deserve. Or women who complain about being alone, who spend so much money on dating sites and fancy clothes, but who just don't understand the psychology of masculine attraction and need. So think about that for a second, keeping that solid in your head. What do you think would be a fair price for the language of desire? If you're being completely honest, I'd bet you'd say that $297 or more would be totally fair to change your life with men forever. Heck, I bet you'd think that was cheap to never have to feel that anxiety with men again. But I'm a single mom of two beautiful, hungry, and expensive kids. I know that even when you want something so much and know it's a total steal at the price you're paying, as a woman, sometimes you just can't give yourself what you need. Which is why I'm going to do something kind of risky here. Not a risk to you, but a big risk to me. See, my mission in life is to give regular women like you and me power. And if I have to take a hit to my pocketbook to accomplish that mission, that's just the way it is. If my story resonates with you, then I feel like you and I have a lot in common. I feel like we're sisters. So because you've given me some of your precious time, you're not going to pay $297. I'm not going to ask you to invest $197. For you, I'm setting the price of the language of desire at just one single payment of $97. And if you take action right now, I'll give you a whopping 50% off. Simply click the button below and you'll get the complete program for the discounted price of just $47. But you have to act right now. I know what it's like to hem and haw and think about it, but my marketing guy is telling me that I simply can't sell a system this robust and powerful for $47. He's demanding that I eliminate the discount because we just give too much for $47. If you're still seeing this page, it means he hasn't forced me to cancel the discount yet. But please, if you come back in a few hours or tomorrow and you can't get the discount anymore, please don't write me begging. If you pass this up now, there's just nothing I can do for you. And just to take away every excuse you might have not to give this to yourself, I'm going to back up everything I've said with a truly astonishing guarantee. Here's how it works. Just enroll in the Language of Desire program right now. Use the material. It's so easy to use and done for you. See for yourself how much fun love and sex can really be when you know the secret code. If you don't think the program is worth at least double what you're paying today, just contact my customer service at support at digitalromanceinc.com anytime in the next 60 days, and you'll get every dime back as fast as we can. Why am I being so generous? Because I want this for you. I want you to experience this incredible power and pleasure. And if I have to put myself out there a bit to help you, I'll gladly do just that. All you have to do is click the button below. Okay, if you're not convinced yet, let me do one more thing to knock you off the log. I want to make this easy for you. I want you to feel all the way deep in your bones that you're getting an incredible deal that you can be proud of. That's why I've got three very special presents for you for just saying yes to the language of desire today. First, I'll give you my silent seduction training. If the language of desire is all about how to use words to infiltrate a man's mind, silent seduction is how to create absolute craving in him without saying anything at all. In this special training, I'll teach you how to use body language, a wink, a smile, the tilt of your head, to short-circuit his sexual nervous system and drive him absolutely wild. Your second present is called Unstoppable Confidence. Unstoppable Confidence is over 90 minutes of deep conversation and training between Michael Fiore and Michael Griswold, teaching you how to have unstoppable confidence with men and how to use feminine vulnerability to wrap any man you want around your finger. Your third present is something a bit shocking. In fact, I can't give this to everyone. But if you act right now, you'll get The Good Girl's Guide to Texting Dirty, my private collection of done-for-you dirty texts. 
Every woman I know has been caught staring at her cell phone wondering what to say to a man when he wants to get a little dirty. That's why I'm giving you over 200 tested, proven, and delicious dirty texts to use on your man. So let's add this all up just so you can see for yourself what a great deal you're getting. With your special discount, you'll get the complete Language of Desire program for just $47. We already agreed that Language of Desire is worth at least 97 by itself, so that's already a pretty great deal. But then you're also getting Silent Seduction, Unstoppable Confidence, and The Good Girl's Guide to Texting Dirty. And each of those should probably sell for $97 or more by themselves, too. If you were checking out at the supermarket, that would all add up to $388. But using your special discount, you'll get everything for just $47. I don't know about you, but if I was at the store and got $400 bucks worth of stuff for less than $50, bucks, I would feel like I won the lottery. All you have to do to take advantage of this amazing deal is click the big button below this video right now. Then fill in your payment details using a credit card, debit card, or PayPal on the next page. Once you do that, you'll get your special login credentials. So you can access the Language of Desire on your phone, tablet, or computer anywhere you want, anytime you need. Click the button below right now. Pay your discounted enrollment fee. Go through the program. Learn the secrets of men. Use the tested and proven techniques. Feel what it's like to have a man want you, and only you, mind, body, and soul. Experience how much fun you can have with a man, and feel all that stress drain away like water. Feel a level of sexy confidence that fills every cell of your body. You're going to be amazed at the change in your life once you learn this. How all men just look at you differently. How guys who never took you seriously find themselves ignoring other women and thinking only of you. If you're like most women, you're going to have a hard time wiping the goofy smile off your face, or keeping that joyous sparkle out of your eyes. Okay, it's time to take action. You're at a crossroads right now, and you really just have two very different options, leading to two very different lives. Option one is to leave this page without enrolling in the program. I think you already know what will happen if you do this. That heavy feeling in your heart, that sense that you made a mistake, didn't take an opportunity you wanted so much, that widening gap between you and men. You don't want that, which is why you should seriously consider taking road number two. Just say yes right now. Click the button, enter your payment information right now before life gets in the way, and enroll in the Language of Desire program. Get everything I've talked about in this video. Learn how to bond with a man in a way he simply never felt before just by saying a few words. With my 60-day guarantee, you're risking nothing. And with the special discount, you're getting half off. Let me leave you with one final lesson. Do you know what men find irresistibly attractive in women? decisiveness. The ability to see something you want and you can feel you want this so much and go after it. If you feel like there's a canyon between you and men, if you aren't getting your emotional and physical needs so much more than met, just make a tiny easy decision right now. I've unlocked the door. All you have to do is walk through it. I hope you understand that I've stacked the deck so much in your favor that you can't lose. Actually, there is one way you can lose, by walking away from this wonderful opportunity. But you've suffered and craved real passion long enough. Just click the button below. I personally promise you'll be happy you did. Again, I'm Felicity Keith, and I can't wait to hear about your success.